Taurus, welcome to your weekly love messages. These will be from the 8th until the 14th of November. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that we do on YouTube. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. Remember, these are general love messages, though, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week, which is perfectly fine. Uh, if, it's, if it's not resonating with you this week, the best way to make sure that you don't miss your message, if it does come in specifically, for you is just to hit that notification button and the subscribe button and that way if a message comes in for you you don't miss it okay all right today we're going to look at your love situation your feelings your person's feelings and most likely outcome romance angel and advice i'm going to make them super short and sharp tonight because it's been a busy week if you have reached out to me in the last few days uh asking for a personal read, I'm coming back to you in the next 24 hours. Um, it's just been a crazy, crazy week for me. So I just haven't got to all the emails that I normally get to. All right, let's get started, please, for Taurus. What have we got for Taurus in love this week, please? Can I have for the Taurus Collective specifically, collective energy only? Taurus Collective, 8th to the 14th. Ooh, temperance, some healing energy coming in. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, Taurus. This may also point to reconciliation. Too many cards, just take one. Uh, temperance can be reconciliation occasionally. Oh, you've got another one. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, that may be you, Taurus, showing up as a Queen of Pentacles. Don't get hung up on the gender. I read the gender as they appear in the card, depending on the deck that I'm reading from oh what's happening with these cards they're so talkative stop it eh, I can't can't deal with it all all right so you've got the eight of cups in reverse as well um so this may be a separate a situation where you've had to separate yourself physically but emotionally you're still quite tied to this situation or this person two more or vice versa they may be tied to you yeah justice okay Ooh, one more, please. You may be dealing with a Libra as well or have Libra around you. One more. I'm going to come back and clarify that, Justice. Okay, all right. So there's a decision that's been made or will be being made this week. don't know what's happening here. All right, uh, let's clarify Justice, please. Two cards, clarify. Oh, no, I'm being called to Temperance first. Sorry, Temperance, clarify Temperance. Clarify the temperance. What is the healing? What's temperance about, please? Oh, yeah. So you're bringing into balance something, something, somewhere where someone was very controlling, overbearing with that emperor card in reverse. This person may have Aries in their chart, or it may be an Aries or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but you're kind of, yeah, wow. Okay, so you're bringing into balance. This this connection may have ended, but I feel like it hasn't ended because we've got the, Ace of, the Eight of Cups here. Um, you're healing from this. The World card is signifying the ending. Um, it's like you've ended whatever control this person had over you. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles, please. Because this queen is walking away from that situation. She's taking her pentacle and she's walking on forward. Give me two for the queen. Give me three for the queen, sorry. Three for the queen. Yeah, you, you don't want to be, like you're forgiving, but you're not forgetting. Um, you want to forgive this person though. You don't want to be hurt anymore. You don't want there to be any pain anymore. But you also want to isolate yourself from them five of pentacles like this is a card of feeling lonely this is a card of putting someone out in the cold for hurting you one more please for the queen of pentacles so you're you're getting over this heartache yeah this person was very in and out they may have player like energy again strong fire energy here um but it's like you're kind of walking forward away from this situation because it's like you feel like you were forced to put this person in the fridge. Um, you've put them on ice. So, again, I do feel like you've forgiven them, weirdly, but you're still probably not in too much contact with them or 
you're definitely isolating your heart, like you've put your heart on ice for them. Tell me about this Eight of Cups because it's the thing that doesn't make sense for me in this reading. I want to know what this is about. I feel like it's not quite done. I may be wrong. Let's have a look. Eight of Cups in reverse, please. I'll take two. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? So the Eight of Cups, like I said, signifies leaving a situation physically but still being emotionally tied to it. So it could be just that you're working through your emotions at the moment. Yeah, this is you. It's made you not feel like yourself. You may have feel, feel, felt like you were blindsided by this situation. Um, with your card in reverse, it's kind of like you just were tipped upside down by this situation. Um, you still have a lot of feelings, but you're, you're definitely physically separating yourself with this five of, five of Pentacles. Two more, please. Yeah, look at you because you feel like you're in this mind prison now. Like, how did this person do this? What did they do? Why did they do this? It's like you can't get the swords out of your eyes and your head. Um, one more, please, for the Eight of Cups in reverse. You may have felt trapped by this person as well. Yeah, you may have actually agreed to be friends with this person. This is my friendship card, Three of Pentacles. Um, but I feel like you kind of, you also... You felt really, it's not the person that you felt trapped by, it's the situation. You feel like you've been pushed into having to, to do this. It's not what you want to be doing, um, but I, I, see, I feel like you feel trapped that this person has left you no other option but for you to walk away and get justice. This is about doing what's right for you, for the people around you, um, again, you may be dealing with Libra, but it's about getting justice for what's happened to you. And the only way you feel like you can get justice is you're not you're not bitter because you've got this three of swords beautifully in reverse. Um, so indicating like a level of forgiveness, but you're also not being blind to this situation either. Tell me about justice. I'll take three for justice, please. Tell me about justice. It's a clear decision though because it ends in the two of wands, yeah. You're not wanting to work on this anymore. That's the justice. You're like, I'm not putting in any more effort to this. It's not going anywhere. One more. I want to put effort into myself. Yeah, I'm not moving towards this. You can run at me if you like. This person may have narcissistic tendencies. Um, this is that card. This and the King of Swords in reverse are that card. But they may also be just a little bit selfish, self-centered, um, one more, please, for justice. And you're, and this is what you're getting justice against by leaving this. Yeah, look at this, the hermit. They've got you overthinking. Like everything made you overthink here. You may be dealing with a Virgo as well. So you've got, what have we got on the table? We've got Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, which is you guys, Taurus showing up as yourself, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So um, with this, and Virgo, did I say Virgo? Virgo. With this hermit in reverse, it's like you, you became obsessive about this. They may have an obsession with you, um, but it's like you couldn't stop thinking about whatever's happened. And so in order to bring about justice for yourself, this is why you feel forced into this situation. Tell me about the two of wands in reverse, please. Two of Wands in reverse. So you have made a clear decision. Yep. And the decision is King of Cups in reverse. You're not allowing this person to offer you a cup. You're not offering them a cup. It's like you're making yourself emotionally unavailable to this person. Um, and again, it comes back to this Justice card. He's looking directly at it. One more, please, for the Two of Wands. Yeah. There was too much competition five of wands there may have been too much fighting bickering um but also let's clarify that clarify the five of wands please what's the five of wands yeah tower wow i think you feel like if you went back to this person it would only end in disaster with the tower so you're kind of like i have to make this decision to avoid a disaster i need to make this decision to avoid the tower um, from falling again I feel like you you feel like this person has left you no option but to take this action they've backed you into a corner they have trapped you in your own mind 
um, and left you no room to think, really. Let's have a look at your thoughts and feelings. How funny. We're going to have a look at your thoughts and feelings. You don't have any room to think. Um, I'm in a very weird mood tonight, Taurus. I'm so sorry. This is serious, I know. Oh, you're kind of like, I'm ready to meet new people and date. You're, you're, you're ready for something new. Yeah. But you're not ready yet with the seven of cups. You're not considering options. You just want to go out and have fun. So this is not you considering, So because the seven of cups is in reverse. It's like, I'm not actually looking for anything, but I just want to have fun again. I just want to go out. I want to have a good time, meet up with my friends, have a drink, have a dance, go out for coffee, go out for dinner, whatever it is. One more, please. Um, but you're not looking for anyone new just yet, but you will when you're ready because you have the ace of cups. And I actually think this is saying, you're going to, it's going to come to you when you don't expect it because you're going to be so just focused on having a good time because this is separate. It's like, that's when it will come in for you. That's when this ace of cups, and this is your true love, ace of cups. This is real true love. Um, yeah, this situation may have had potential, but I just don't think you can get past the stuff. Let's have a look at your person's thoughts and feelings. How does Taurus's person's thoughts and feelings? Oh, we got two. Oh, they're in pain. Two more. They're definitely grieving this situation. They don't want to be single. They don't want to be alone, um, which is the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you've really, like they've been... They may be spying on you as well. They may be keeping tabs on you, um, watching your social media. One more, please, for how this person, how Taurus's other person feels. Thoughts and feelings for Taurus's other person. I'll take, yeah. Yeah, they, oh dear. Mm, they messed up, Taurus. All right. So, look, they do actually see love with you. Like, their lovers is here. They see a potential. Um, they may have made the wrong well, they, they know that they should have made a decision um, and they may not have in time. Um, with the Page of Swords here in reverse, this was very disappointing for them. They kind of thought that they were just going to have this whatever, happily ever after situation. And it was very disappointing because the Page of Swords is in reverse. It's like they got news that they weren't expecting and it's put them in this situation, in this Nine of Pentacles, I don't want to be alone, I'm so sad, I'm grieving you now. Um, but it's kind of like they did this to themselves, Taurus. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck as well. Jeez. Well, you know, people make choices and from those choices there are reactions. Like people react to other people's actions and if you're not acting right, then you have to expect that the reaction isn't going to be good. Um, yeah, they're in their head badly Taurus so does that mean they'll be different I don't know but they're definitely feeling what they've done all right let's have a look here please uh, most likely yeah, outcome for this week for Taurus please knight of cups in reverse Oof. yeah you're not accepting I you're not accepting their cup yeah five of wands they may still be fighting about this with the five of wands showing up again, there may still be competition that you're dealing with um, or you may feel like you're dealing with competition. Three more, please. Also, this Knight of Cups too, when it's in reverse, it can actually mean a false cup. Yeah, tower. Oh, God. So the tower that I think you were trying to avoid actually happens this week. You've just delayed it. This can be a false cup. So this can be someone promising to offer you things and then not really offering it to you. And particularly if it's next to the five of wands, this may indicate that they're telling you that, you know, you've got, they want to give you the cup, but then there's all this competition in the background. It could also mean that um, there's fights because someone isn't accepting the cup. But either way, with either one of those stories, there's a tower about to happen and it's going to be big. Um, two more. 
and that just flew out too. Okay, so if you thought that you so three of pentacles showing up where you thought you could be friends with this person, it may you may discover that you can't be friends with this person. Again, this is my friendship card. When it shows up in the reverse, it's I don't want to be friends with you anymore. One more, please. So if you've tried to split amicably, you might find that that changes this week. Maybe because of these fights, because of this competition, you may feel like this person still isn't being honest with you. It's what this tower. I'm going to come back and clarify this tower, which I don't often do, but I feel like, yeah, look at this King of Pentacles. You've got stability in your future. This is you actually showing up as the king. Don't get hung up on the gender. I read the gender as it appears in the card, depending on what deck I'm reading, because you showed up as the Queen of Pentacles as well. So you're choosing yourself this week, Taurus. Um, this is your masculine and feminine energy and you're actually going to be, you've been in your feminine energy because you've probably been feeling quite nurturing and wanting to try and do the right thing with your forgiveness and wanting to be friends and trying to end things amicably. But then this tower happens and you move swiftly to your masculine energy where you're like, you know what, look how he's sitting on his throne, right? He's like, yeah, okay, whatever. I don't really care. I, I'm done. I'm done with you. So you're moving into that very masculine, strong energy. Um, let's clarify what the tower is. Tell me what causes the tower, please. Give me two. So much for short and sharp readings. Hey, Taurus. I just feel like you guys are owed this. Tower two. Oh, yeah. You're seeing something from a new perspective. One more. The hangman in reverse, sorry. I can't wait till I get, I'm getting a new setup. Yeah, because this person is still playing. Knight of Wands in reverse, the player energy. These are all repeating cards. So this is a cycle and it's going around and around in circles, right? So the cards that are showing up in each deck are the same cards. There's 78 cards in a deck. Now I'm pulling six of them. What are the odds that they're going to match up to the previous cards and the previous cards? Like Spirit is giving you the same message here, right? Um, <laughs> and I can't make this up. Three of Cups. It's like saying, go out, have fun. Don't waste time on this. You're better than this. Um, the tower is falling because you're seeing things from a new perspective. And I think you're seeing that potentially this person actually hasn't changed their player ways. This is how they showed up here when you were prepared to be forgiving and nice and amicable. And they're still showing up as this. And that is what is going to cause this big tower this week. All right, let's have a look. Mm, I have something to say, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you may have to look really carefully because your person may be tipped off that the tower is coming. That's all I'll say about that. So keep your eyes peeled because they may get clever. Advice. Oh, you are dealing with a devil. Oh, geez, Taurus. Okay, this person is toxic. And if you were to have a long-term commitment with them with the Ten of Pentacles there, like marriage, children, house, family, they would still be toxic and controlling, okay? And you would not have your wishes fulfilled. In the upright, this card is a wish fulfillment. It's like your happily ever after. It's like the nine to the ten of cups, two most powerfully emotional cards in the deck other than the ace of cups. But these are the attaining happiness, attaining wish fulfillment, nine and ten, right? Uh, the ace of cups is being offered that love opportunity. With this, this is what everyone's kind of hoping for in life. This is where we're going. We're going to the nine and the ten of cups. The nine of cups showed up in reverse here for you. So it's saying if you keep this overwhelmingly controlling person who is showing up as the devil because they're possibly quite toxic. You may be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Um, and stay in this stable, committed relationship with this person. You're not going to be, you're not going to feel fulfilled. It's not going to actually give you the happiness that you're looking for. So um, yeah, this person's going to try and reconcile with you. That you may have known them since childhood. They've got the children on here. This is a children card as well. There may be a soulmate as well. And that could be also why, the, why this is quite a struggle for you. But remember, soulmates aren't all meant to stay in our lives forever, okay? Um, some come for a reason, some come for a season, and some come for a lifetime. Let's have a look at Romance Angel advice, please, for Taurus. What a read, Taurus. You're going through it, aren't you? Well, I'm thinking of you, so 
So know that. Express your love. Go ahead, healing family issues. All right, so there's family issues at play here. This person may have, um, or you also may have some um, childhood issues, uh, especially with the children card coming up as well. Um, express your love. So go ahead and make that romantic gesture because I think that that also will move this situation along. So don't be ashamed to express your love. Um, but be aware this tower is still going to fall. If the person hasn't actually changed their ways, um, it will fall when they don't, when it, when it comes out, because you're protected, uh, Taurus, hundred percent protected. It is this reading. It's all over this reading. Um, so spirit is looking out for you. If you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details down in the description box below. So much for a short, sharp reading. Like I said, 20 minutes. It's not bad, Taurus. Um, <laughs> don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And I will be seeing you very soon. Have a great week. Bye.